guys, what's up? We will be now making the presentation board for a bathroom design for a young couple. It's a small space here. Um, it has uh, uh, several requirements uh, that we would need to follow along. And I expect this, well, uh, this to be a two-part tutorial on how to make a presentation board and a perspective uh, sketch in Procreate. So this will be the final result of our today's video. Plus we will uh, try to um, fill this floor plan with color to give it depth and make it more interesting. Um, so uh, this was the inspiration board, the mood board that was uh, selected with the customer uh, to have a, to give a guideline of uh, which um, direction we should go while designing. So we'll have here brass elements, we will have some uh, dark aluminum armature, it will be in natural light colors, we'll have some wood, wooden finishes. And uh, uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm now creating a new um, canvases of A3 size and I will need to uh, yeah, let's uh, I will tell you a little bit about uh, this space so the space will be a three meter long and two meter wide space with the corner cut up uh, with this angle and uh, um, here we will take 30 centimeters of the space for the pipelines and here will be a bus stop. The young couple are doctors, uh, uh, so uh, they really want to relax after the working shift and having a bus stop. And nevertheless, uh, the space is already small, was a prerequisite for them. Then we will have here a sink and a washing machine underneath it. Yeah, and a toilet here. To create some privacy, we will need to add some kind of sliding door here to cover the space up because we have the doors opening inside of the um, space. Here we will install the cabinets to hide some more washing uh, uh, chemicals and uh, towels. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's get started. Uh, I will create a new layer and I will install a drawing assistant guide here, drawing guide. Uh, I will also the grid 4 centimeters and I prefer the grid to begin always from the corner so that we have an evenly divided space. Okay. Uh, so on the new layer, uh, we switch the drawing assistant on. And if this button doesn't work for you, for you as a drawing assistant, make me sure to, or yeah, if you are okay with that workflow and you have some other preferences, then you just use them. But I find this button very handy to to put the drawing assistant on and off. So you can uh, add that here in the preferences gesture controls. So let's get started. As I already said, we have a, a wall of three meters and two meters long, wide. So this is basically our space. I will give thickness to the walls. I'm being not accurate with the thickness of the walls here because it's uh, not the point here. We will need to convey the idea to the customer. So most of the uh, of our uh, sketch will be on scale, of course, but uh, we are not going uh, in so deep as two millimeters some centimeters, so it's okay to have that that way. Uh, so then I will erase. Um, no, so we will install the door at first. I'll switch the drawing assistant off, and the door will be like that. So uh, we will take 30 centimeters here for the pipeline work. So all the pipes are covered there in the wall. And then um, the bathroom has also a beautiful window. We will make an indica indication of it. Like that erase the unneeded pipes, drawing assistant on, and then, oh, I do, oh, by the way, I do the undo with two fingers, tapping with two fingers on my screen, like that, so here's the window, 
then I will need to put the elements here. Of course, that's possible to draw them, but uh, I have another workaround here. Um, I have the furniture items already drawn here. I select the elements I need. For example, I will need this uh, not only rectangle, I have here a freehand selection. And now I select the item that I need. I will also need this bus stop and this sink. Now I just swipe with three fingers, copy. I go to the sketching, to my new project, and I paste it here and paste. Let us scan it up, and let's begin with selecting the bus stop. Rotate 90 degrees. I have the snapping on here, the magnetic snapping, and that's why it snaps precisely how I need it with the with the. Uh, how do you say it? Sorry, my guys, English is not my um, native language, so it's sometimes uh, difficult to find the right word. So it has an, um, an angle size like 45 degrees or 15 degrees that it will go uh, accordingly to those angles installed. So I have rotated it 90 degrees and um, my bathroom should be around eight, 1800 millimeters. So if this is three meters, the minus 300 and here we will have the 90 yeah yeah it's precisely how i need it because here i will be in a, a, it will be a cabinet of 90 centimeters long so uh, everything looks correct right now now i select the thing it should be 60 centimeters long i take it i rotate it 180 degrees and i put it here so i see right now that it's a bit a bit bigger than than I would need it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I see the bus stop. It also is a little bit wider. It should be 800, and now it seems to be 900 centimeters. So we scale it up in free form. So this is how it be. Yes, and now the sink. Great. If uh, you find the uh, snapping, no help in you then you can always switch it off but for me right now it's okay so i know that i need uh, 400 centimeters for the toilet plus uh, 20 centimeters uh, uh, to have some space uh, 20 30 centimeters to have some space to place some holders here and uh, so my sink need to be 60 yeah and the depth of the washing machine is also 600 60 centimeters so it's exactly That's how I need it. It's a little bit bigger this way. Yeah. So that way. In the toilet. And the toilet, it will be uh, this part will be installed in the wall. So we the flush will be in the wall. So we will need to erase that one. Oh. Okay. Rotate it. No, I definitely don't need this nothing. And like that. Okay. One more time. A little bit smaller. Yeah, that's right. So we don't need this uh, old sketch anymore. So undo these two fingers. Wrong sketch. Delete it. This one, yes. This one we don't need anymore. Um, we have now the furniture on a part layer. Mm, yeah, we can have it like that for just for now. Or mm, yeah, we will combine. Uh, so uh, now I will move the wall pan here and uh, let's add an inspiration board or the mood board for this uh, for this project and drop it like that. I go to the main directory and then I just drag and drop it here and the file will be imported in our scene. 
nice and easy. And I will place it here. I intended to have a grid here to see what's happening and how to place it. I will place it. I, I would like to have the yeah approximately even distance from all the corners. Yeah, maybe like that. So that we have some kind of space to breathe. Uh, it's always important to zoom in the layer so we can be um, not distressed to to make something bad to your sketch. Okay. And um, yeah, basically we will have a hexagon uh, tiles on the floor, and that's what um, we did. Oh, yeah, we forgot to put the cabinet here, so let's do that. Drawing assistant on, pen brush on. The depth of the cabinet will be about 35, uh, 35 centimeters deep, but now when we are off the grid, it's not uh, really clear what we will be having, what for size we will be having. So we place the floor, floor plan just for now here, according to the grid, so that we have an indication of uh, the sizes. We know that this is one meter, so in the half and with the half meter, and we need somewhere around 35 centimeters. So here will be our cabinet. It's now 90 centimeters long. Uh, and then um, it won't be that way. Uh, this part of about 30, 25, 30 centimeters will be a, a sliding, a sliding out cabinet. Like you know, when in the kitchens so they have this kind of stuff like when you slide the cabinet um, from the wall. So this is will be here. And um, I believe that in future it will be uh, the uh, radiator somewhere here or maybe not it yeah yeah there will be a radiator definitely here so we can uh, indicate it we ch uh, check on the drawing assistant okay and now we will put it here with the radiator it will be here and here will be a sliding door or some kind of uh, divider that can be flipped or turned around something like that but then just one size we will see what we will find on the market but for now this will be used as a mood board uh, yeah i would suggest us uh, to put some sizes also on the sketch so uh, let's do that uh, drawing assistant on as always so this is 3,000 millimeters and this is the 2,000 uh, let's make it nice and then the bus stop is 800 then sink 600 and the toilet is 400 And here we have this size 300, then it will be um, 1800 and 900. Yeah. Now it's pretty, and we can um, fill this in this color. Um, and, um, Let's do that. Let's create a new layer. Let's put it underneath our sketch. And what I need to add here, this ch chosen black color, I will select the hexagon brush. I, as I already told you, that I will include all those brushes in the uh, underneath the video in the description so that you could uh, um, use them and follow along. Just use that for your project. So on the new layer, I am. Um, going to make the tiles, the hexagon tiles, so this is a small size for me, I need to go a bit uh, larger size, like that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So now I'm, I take it and I go here, and I know that my tiles will be smaller, so I will take it like that. Yes. Pretty much like that. And I will erase everything that I don't need. Mm. 
these tiles will be white with some marble effect on it like we have here and I will uh, show you right away how to do that but uh, just for now I need to erase everything I don't need it and it will be a long job to make it manually so I will now select the pieces that I don't need to have in tiles yeah like that then we have and I will drag the toilet and then remove arrow and just drag it away from the canvas so let's create some color add some color to our sketch I will need another layer I will choose a warm white color rectangle like that and color fill I think that's a too dark option so we will go a bit um, lighter okay so that's already looks great but uh, again we don't need several parts so we will remove this one and this one and this one and this one I'm not being accurate here you will see why remove Something not right, okay. We will fill in the color. Yeah, that's great. And we'll erase the unneeded parts of it. This will stay white. And we won't bother to delete all other things because it's uh, we will just cover them up with, with another layers. Now I go and I select my um, marker brush. I moved this layer on alpha lock so that I could not uh, paint outside of it and um, let's add some more texture to it and some more yeah, body to it uh, so there will, will be def definitely some darker parts and uh, in, in the interior here there will be darker shadows too so um, with the marker brush selected applying just a slight pressure we are adding more dark parts here and here and let's say the sun will help go here so we'll have straight shadows and this is not a shadow layer of course it's just to have some color variation and you see I cannot paint here because our layer is on alpha lock um, so let's make Get the, um, add some light from this side and on this side. I want it to be warm, so I'm going more on the yellow side. Just here. The more colors we add, the more natural look it will get, but we don't want to spend a lot of time here. Just a bit of bluish color in the shadow part of the sketch. Okay, I think it's great. Already, just a blend with white, and I will want to select the pencil line and select just the bright color and add some. With the drawing assistant, draw, uh, to draw some highlights on the tiles. And you don't quite see it just because our um, colors are too light here, so let's try to duplicate this layer and see if we can. Oh, we will do it that way and we will, will work a little bit more on the colors because now it's kind of messy, I don't like it that way. Okay, you know what the problem is? I have a drawing assistant on, that's why I cannot get the effect I want. 
going to blend the colors. I actually don't like this yellowish mood, but I would want to make it more gold. And now I will add just um, the light from the separate tiles to make it more artistic. Okay, I think it's enough, and now we can add some smooth highlights here. And to make this effect even more striking or prominent, because it's a sketch, yeah? It's not a 3D visualization where everything should be um, photorealistic and accurate, physically accurate. We can add our artistic vision here, and I really like this process. So I will now go and choose some darker color and just across from the highlights I will add some darker shades. Just slightly. I don't want to do that. It's just to give the volume to our tiles. It's already looks so nice, so juicy. And we can go on and on eternally here. And then choose some light color and highlight other parts of the tiles. Yeah, it already looks so nice. I love it. But let's move further. Um, the whites are never actually white in the interior or in the um, in the sketch and painting. It's never white, so we'll need to select a slightly. Um, grayish colors to fill in other parts of the interior. So let's start from the best up. I will select uh, the rectangle with color fill on and off. And we will now fill it in. Yeah, that's great. But uh, now it's off. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> now it's too flat and we need to add the shadows and highlight other elements. As this light is coming from this way, then this part of the bathtub will be in the direct shadow and this well will be highlighted. Um, I will redo that on another layer so that we will have more control over what we are doing. And it should be also on top of the tiles. Yeah. So select, rectangle select and fill in. Great. Now we we'll select our marker brush and we add some darker shades here and also in the corner. And before doing that, we do the alpha lock to be able to paint without uh, anxiety inside of the borders of our sketch. Here in the corner, the best style will get some less light and here it's in the shadow. So we just adding that. Then we select that white color and slightly this brush, you don't need to press hard on it because then it will be too hard and too thin. You need to move accurately. We just slightly pushing on our stylus, on our pen. And we will get this great result. Try to make it even darker, just here. Then add some more highlights. Yeah. 
Yes, hopefully like that. I think. And we will have a douche uh, in the brush color, so you can fill it in with the fan brush already. Just on this layer. Do it like that. And then we select automatically, just color fill is off. Automated color fill off automatically. We select this one and we can then sketch in this layer, but not um, painting in the bathtub. So just on it. Another brush, marker brush. And we are trying to get the grass color on metals. Just a systematic process, and <laughs> I like playing with it actually, <laughs> just for sake of it. So it's really nice already, like that. And maybe blur. I'm doing too much attention to that. Yeah, I need to stop. Way. And on another layer, we will do the sink and the toilet. So let's uh, select them. Okay, great. And marker brush should be selected. And let's lighten it up. I think it should be more on the blue side. Yeah, that's great. And we will add more highlights here. If the toilet can be some more glossiness, get some more glossiness. And here we will add some shadows. And again, highlights to mix the colors around. Yeah, that's great. And uh, the tap will be again brass. So pencil brush. Fill in the color. will be here as well, just as a decorative element. So now we select just the brass element and we add some texture to it, darker colors here with the marker brush and the highlights in. some darkness there. Let's add it. Let's make it perfect. Now I see that we messed up with these colors, but it's easy to get rid of that. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay, and the cabinet will be wood, and that's super easy. We can do it on the same layer, we just rectangle, rectangle, and select this color fill and some wooden color here. We have a pretty dark wood there, and we select it here. Color fill to the wooden way. Ah, it's, it's just because we have an awful lot. So if we uh, 
um, do the envelope off and put the color here. And now with this collection on, we will add some more wooden texture to it. So that it will be clear that we have made here. Just adding some um, straight lines and layering it. Yeah, that's great. Then with the pencil, we go some darker, smaller lines. And of course, the wood has um, more highlights. Never choose the right. Yeah, like that. So our our plum has already color to it. I'm absolutely happy with that. And uh, right now we can merge those layers. But be careful if you are going to uh, adjust the layers, uh, or it's not yet uh, clear with your customer or about the finishes uh, or the textures or the tiles that you're going to apply, then maybe you will need to have your layers separate, to have them separately, uh, and uh, then you will easily adjust and change the tiles, for example, or the brass fixtures could be easily removed and uh, recolored. But I know that it will be exactly that way. So right now I will add up here some um, accessories that would be used in this project, and uh, um, we will go on from here. So I select the uh, mirror, uh, ceiling lamp, bathroom, this uh, lamp, wall lamp, toilet, accessories. I will have the wall divider here, we have the divider there, this lamp, uh, the grass, a douche, um, washing machine, uh, um, a dirty clothes basket, and wood texture and hexagon tiles and just uh, normal rectangular tiles that is actually what we need we have a window there don't forget about that and we will have some hanging plants so you might add them up and now we just drag and drop it down if it cannot drag and drop then like in my case i have selected too many layers because uh, uh, my iPad um, cannot, uh, doesn't allow me to have a lot of layers on this side as this size, which is a big canvas that I have here. So I will deselect some layers and I will select them. Um, the, those that I can group that I know how they will be um, situated on the canvas. So I will select this one, this one, and this one. And I drag and drop them at first. And I make it bigger. Oh, why? That's strange, delete. We definitely need to have all three. Yes. This one is too small. Okay. Nevertheless, I make it bigger and I place it there. I take this one, this will be just on top of my mirror. Super, and I will need the lamp. Great. I want it to be the same size as the mirror, but you see, we have some gray space here, and we don't actually need it or want it on our mood board, so we will uh, automatically select uh, the gray color. And now, you see, the tilt shift, the uh, sensitivity of my uh, selection is too big, so I need to um, to lower the threshold. And now, when I apply the selection for the second time, it just selects the colors that I don't need. And then I can manually adjust. So let's do it again. Yeah, it wor works perfectly fine when we have some con contrasty colors, but here, you see, it's, it's almost the same, so Maybe it shouldn't be too pity here. It will be okay like that. Then we choose remove and drag it out of the canvas. Okay, it's not that clear what to do in this situation. We select the eraser and we clean it up. Yeah, it's a careful process. It takes time, but we have the time we need to make this project work nicely for our client. We can be here not pixel perfect because it won't be seen on the printing board because the project when we will be presenting it to the client 
it won't be a huge size so nobody will see the sentiment or maybe there yeah of course we need to be accurate but for small things there and you can always fix fix it like that great i got the results i replace it here i check there yeah like that and now i think this one should be a little bit bigger yes perfect and now i can uh, make this three layers one and put it here for example great and we move forward uh, we select these two guys what's happening yeah great yeah two layers selected this one i made it bigger and we will replace this faucet with the faucet that we like and again i will automatically delete all the white color you see the contrast here is bigger so it removes without a problem i choose remove and then drag it away yeah great now i will put it somewhere in there just for now because i need to delete this faucet here yeah and we have some white space around this sink and we will delete it in the usual way remove and drag it out great now we have some more leftovers here we clean them up we put the faucet behind the sink select the faucet and place it where we need and maybe make it a little bit smaller so that it will be more natural size yes perfect i see some leftovers here and again i clean it up and we can combine these two layers make it a bit smaller yes now it looks great and i think we can place the accessories right there and we will finish it up okay again select the white remove drag it away just for now i i would add something more nice there but for now it's okay so let's make the uh, the best of situation this and this Oop. this one will be interesting let's make the best up drag it in there make it big and nice great then i will not have the faucet the the douche sorry we will put it on top and scale it up now it seems to be all scale. Nice. And we will erase the white. As the background is white, it's okay to have those leftovers there. It's, it doesn't matter. It won't bother us. And now this group is already ready. And we need to add this guy here as a divider. So let's scale it. And now it has a white background. Does it suit us? We remove that as well. Great. This picture there, we won't see it, uh, we don't need it here as well, so we erase it. Now we have a nice frame, but it doesn't fit us, so what we, what would we do? We select it with an arrow and we set distort and reset it to the perspective of our bathroom. Like that. Yeah, I like it totally. It's great. So we will put it, uh, let's put it somewhere here, just for now. I want to show you another trick. Uh, we will add now uh, these textures that we will be using. And I want them to be placed in these round circles. So how, how would we do that? First of all, I will create a new layer. And I will create ellipses, one ellipse. This color fill the black color perfectly cool yeah i like this circle great then i duplicate it 
the snapping when the matrix and push it here and duplicate it again and put it here. Now I can select them and place them on one layer. Maybe we don't so the reset, we don't need them to be that big, so we scale it up to the full length, place it here. Yeah, that's nice. Now we need to place our textures without snipping that, not needed anymore. We need to put it here, the first one, the second one. It's great. And this one. Let's do like that. Now we combine them, we put on top of our black circles and we make it click mask. Voila. Now if we need to move them, we select all of them and we put them where we need it. Great, now we need to arrange a little bit. Okay, the rest we can still do it, just for now. And now, this is like what I have left in the, the toilet. Great. Then uh, we need to place this window. Then the washing machine, and let's add some greens. Great, and I don't think that we will need this one. I will go to full screen mode. Window. Yeah, this guy. Okay. On top. But now the background is what we don't need, so we will remove it. Yeah, we need to go accurately here because the contrast is not that big and we don't want to delete some brass spots. So we will make it as plain, with a little of thickness. And now we can place it nicely here. Great, so we take, we take another plant. This one should be here, it will be hanging as well in front of the window. And now we need to get rid of that background. And it's again, not that contrasty, but okay. We know how to deal with that. Yeah, you see, we don't want that. We will need to avoid that. We want to avoid that. Um, or we will need to paint the missing parts. But just let's try to make it where it's okay. I will paint that escape that scene. Okay, oh, you see, it's not that many. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need it, we need to sketch it up. Okay, no problem. We select our pencil line, it's perfect. bigger and we will walk faster and clean this up make it a bit make it a bit sketchier okay. a little bit of color don't do that. Oh yeah, that's not, I don't know whether we need it or not, but I like it. Okay, add some light colors here. And add it all the way there again. Great. Our window, let's get moving and further to our next plant. We'll try to remove this color here, not an easy one as well, but still not that 
bad as the previous one. We have a contest here. Sorry, guys. I think it's uh, difficult to to talk and to do the job. But we are going to make it a nice project. So let's get moving. Great. Great. And we will need to place it here. This one. And place it on top. And you know, I actually I like this combination. We need to make it longer, I think. Let's sketch a circle here. Pick the colors we need and make it as beautiful as you want. So I like it that way. And I think that I need to make that one layer and I would want to place it here where it belongs and distort it according to the perspective of our bathroom. I think that's ready to be combined. And then we will need to select this guy here and mix it. Yeah, we don't want any that. We scale it up uniformly. Yes. I mean, I think that toilet can go also this way. It can be all to of the washing machine. We won't bother to delay the background. So and we will take these guys here, they are so nice, they, um, they deserve a good place in here. Yes, so we will now put the sink here. Oh yeah, what we are missing here is the basket for the dirty clothes, so I will move this side here, I think it will look better here. And we will need it to import the basket. So we'll drag it, pick photo gallery here, and the basket. And the basket can go all the way here and then underneath. So let's see. We will now switch off the grid because we don't need it anymore. It was handy to arrange the things around with the grid to have a little bit of the guidelines. And now I see that my floor plan could be moved a little bit to the left. So I'm going to put it to the side. Yes. Great. So the only thing you need uh, here is to put your signature somewhere in the corner. You can use the pen brush for that and just sign it. Do whatever you want. Don't forget to put a like, subscribe for new videos. There will be a second part of this um, design project coming out soon. We will be making a perspective drawing there. So uh, if you think I deserve a like, put, put it there and all the files will be in the description to this video. You can download everything and sketch along. There will be also a plan already included in the folder so that you will just have fun and color it up. Thanks. Bye.